Okay. Now, I was practicing with the defocusing. Okay, so much for that. <laughs> I think I'll leave it right there. Uh, I'm driving around. So, the test today, okay? 1 1 25th ISO 100 is stability, the picture quality. This is the uh, ZB EOS 10. It's fully charged, 100%. 4K30, okay? So, how does it look? I'm hoping it's not bumpy or anything. And I'm hoping it's kind of straight. Because it did lean down to the left, I was noticing last night. You know, I was watching the video. So we're gonna go on 1604. Uh, what I'm going to do is be changing some lenses. So I was doing a comparison. I like to compare the Canon RS10 with the uh, Nikon ZFC. Uh, everybody wants to do it with the uh, Z50. I think since uh, it has an EBF, you do it with the ZFC because it has a better focus system than the Z50. It has weather sealing. The only difference is, like let's say if I take the Z30, right? That overheats around 30 minutes, 25 to 35 minutes. It overheats and it doesn't have an EVF. But I disabled an EVF anyway for this car blogging. So why not use that? Because it has a better autofocus. Well, seems like the ZFC and the Z30 have the same autofocus better than the uh, Z50. They're both USB-C. So is the R10, but you need the power delivery to operate it. So, uh, anyway, if I can get the ZV-10 working good with different uh, lenses, Four millimeter. It's looking pretty good. And I'm going to compare this to the ZFC. I got, I'm thinking of getting some gas, but probably not here. change lenses. Be right back. Okay folks, so this right here I had before was the 40 millimeter. This is now the 24 millimeter. This is the one that I like. Okay, and if I do the shutter speed, well no, uh, this is aperture priority I think. So it's at f8. I go all the way down to 2.8, okay? I'm at 1 4,000th of a shutter speed. ISO is at 200. If I go down a little bit, still at 2.8. 3.2. So at, at 1 2,000th of a shutter speed, at f2.8 in the shade and this is what I'm trying to do so I just changed the ISO is on automatic so let's see what happens when I drive a little bit does this look better Two 
$2.99, too expensive. Okay. So this is 2.8. This is too bright. So what I'm doing is it's adjusting the shutter speed automatically. at f4 <laughs> so I don't know is this good enough windshield and the um, I mean the windshield wiper and the dashboard is that F4 one two thousandths of a shutter speed millimeter the same lens and the pictures look awesome okay so this is just a G lens but yet the nifty 50 is a 1.8 and it's not a G lens so I, I think with the G you can change the aperture or whatever you know manually or put it on automatic um, anyhow a little bit so it's shaking I'm trying to figure out why is it shaking it's not a, a jello effect folks it's uh, your car shaking and that tells me that maybe uh, suspension or I'm, I have it too far to the edge I don't know so with this lens what I'm gonna try is I also bought the uh, 20 millimeter and I also brought the uh, the kit lens but that's the 28 to 60 not the 16 to 50 all right so I wanted to try that out you know on this camera and I think that one does have image stabilization inside the lens. I don't know if the 20 millimeter does. It might. I forgot to bring the um, the new power delivery uh, 100 watt uh, basis uh, zero uh, battery up, but. Uh, if I do get my hands on an R10, I can do a pretty good comparison between both. You see, I see picture quality difference, and then I look at the specs and they pick the R10 over the ZFC. So, I don't know. Uh, they complain about the R10 battery, but yet on the specs it says that it's better than the ZFC. So the ZFC has weather sealing. I don't know about that either. So you really can't, you can look at the specs, verify it, and then realize they got the specs wrong. And what I always do is if something is wrong, I try to correct it. Or I take down the video and redo it. If I can't correct it, I mean, I'll write a comment down below. That's the easiest way of doing it. But not everybody reads a comment. Okay, I, I see it going up 
and down, up and down. It's not the jello, it's uh, the vibrations. I'm gonna move the camera back just a little bit. It's still vibrating. Too much. Turn that off. See, I'm trying different things to keep it from vibrating. And it's shaky like heck. Maybe I need a light. <laughs> I don't know. Beautiful day. F4. See a jello effect. And trying to get rid of that. It's uh, one five hundredth of a shutter speed. You go down to uh, two thousand, twenty five hundred. Still sees it. So I'm going to go down all the way to two point eight. Now that's at F22. Isn't that something? But it's 1 20th of a shutter speed. I'm gonna go to 50. I like 150. Apparently 150 does a real good job on this camera. So I'm trying that out. I've been at, what, one, um, and it's at F22. So, I don't know if that's better. Just drive around and see how that does. So I figure the uh, shutter speed was the best one to try out. Looks like some people in the church, so we're going in. Okay, folks, uh, so with the ZV-10, I keep messing with the shutter speed, and it comes down to either 150 or 160. Uh, the I or the 
aperture just goes berserk with the Sony. Uh, I can use a slower shutter speed on the uh, Nikons and stuff. And I, I do not get that much shaking. All right. I know the uh, ZV-10 is a much smaller camera than most of the Nikons. But uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this challenge with the ZFC. I see challenges with the Z30. I see challenges with the Z50 uh, compared to um, the ZV-10. But nothing with the ZFC. So that's what I'm going to do it with is uh, the ZFC. Compare it. The reason why I'm using the ZFC is the Z30, when it's comparable to the ZV-10, because they're, they're mostly uh, don't have the you know EVF on there, is that uh, it overheats. I have a better uh, overheating or less overheating on the ZV-10 than on the Z30. So I'm going back to the ZFC to compare this camera with the other one. Also compare the um, the shakiness and the jello effect. I don't get that on the ZFC. So I just want to point that out. Um, in the next video that you can see after this, you'll see much better uh, resolution. And I'm going to try the 20 millimeter f1.8 on it. And then I'm going to try the, um, the kit lens from the um, oh shoot the ZFC okay the 28 to 60 because I think that has image stabilization built into it so uh, I'm gonna try that lens out uh, I tried the 16 to 50 on the ZFC no I'm sorry not the ZFC the A7C, I'm sorry. I met the Sony A7C. And uh, so this time I'm going to swap it, use the A7C kit lens with the uh, ZV-10. See how that performs. But uh, anyway, uh, this is one of the first two videos, the 40 millimeter, 24 millimeter. And then uh, I have another video going up messing around with the shutter speed again but uh, that should take care of the problem so I'm narrowing down how the best car vlogging video part will be doing on the ZV-10 and I'm hoping that you're enjoying these videos and I hope this is helpful to you I mean standing vlogging doing normal stuff a lot of videos on that no videos when you're car vlogging. See how stable it is. And uh, I'm putting it on an environment that, you know, new cars with great suspensions, um, no car noise or whatever. I'm dealing with the 20-year-old bug. But uh, if we can pass my test with my test system, then it's a good camera. So I'm trying to get the best lens for this camera, see how it performs. So if you like it, please give me a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Any questions, just write in the comments below. And um, as always, stay safe, keep smiling, and until next time, goodbye.